So me and Alyssa just got back to the room and there's Castaway Key. Good morning from Castaway Key. We are beyond excited to get, hi Lindsay. We are beyond excited to get on the island. Uh, it's a little bit of a late morning. We already had breakfast this morning at Royal Court. It was really good. We requested churro Mickey waffles from our server last night in our main dining room and they showed up with a plate full of them and they were so good. It was like 10. It was like 10 or 12 of them. Yeah. And it was just a great way to start the day. And we love our doing a sit down restaurant on our last full day on a Disney cruise. So we can't wait to share a lot of what we experienced today, not just on Castaway, but also our last full day here on the Fantasy as well. Wow, first time to Castaway Key. It is beautiful. Cannot wait to get off the ship. We have a little bit of a late arrival because the currents were against us last night. It's about 10, 25. We're supposed to be able to get off the ship in about 20 minutes. Alyssa and I actually have a Stingray adventure. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but we get to hang out with Stingrays, swim with them, pet them. Uh, Lindsay would not be about that. Alyssa loves interacting with sea life and animals of any kind. So looking forward to doing that with her. Carrie and Lindsay are gonna find a spot on the family beach and hopefully find some chairs and hang out, maybe get in the water, and then we're gonna join up with them and just enjoy the rest of the day. Oh my goodness, this water is so beautiful. What's up, Goof? Hey, Pluto. Hope you have fun making sandcastles. Pluto's digging for shells. Oh, Alyssa. Alyssa. He knows how you like to experience the beach. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. What? It's like a pirate ship thing. That's cool. There's the shuttle, ready to take people to Serenity Bay or wherever they want to go. But we are walking. And oh my goodness, this is beautiful. One excursion I hope Disney Cruise Line brings back for Casper Key, the jet ski adventure. I'm seeing some, one of the one of the crew members here. Hi. I see him, one of them come in on a jet ski, which I think they use. So we see stingrays in the water. We see guides out there. Here we are. I think we're the first ones here. Alyssa is all ready. We're in kind of the waiting area they have us come into. We're the first ones here for the excursion. And Alyssa can't okay. wait, she's okay. ready. They even give you a floaty vest. They don't use flippers for this excursion with the stingrays, which are right out there. But we are ready to go. <laughs> you are very ready to go. I still gotta get my stuff on, but I'm gonna wait till we get closer to the water. But they're gonna probably give us, some, give us some instructions, but there are masses of people getting off the ship and we, kind of happened into be one of the first people off the ship. Alyssa had the idea to take the elevator down to the first deck. So we all went down and maybe there were like 12 people in front of us. Whereas there were a lot of people in the stairwells starting at deck three going down, waiting to get off the ship. Good job. Thank you. We're still in the waiting area waiting for everything to get started and we can see all the stingers out there just swimming around, hovering near the beach, waiting to get fed. From what we're hearing from other guests who've done this before, we start with the feeding and that goes for about 20, 30 minutes. And then we get to swim or snorkel with the stingrays for about another 20, 30 minutes after that. And we did see a stingray in nature <laughs> at St. Thomas. That was a little scary, but we stayed, we kept our distance, stayed away from it. Well, I definitely kept the minus. Yeah, the she, moment I realized what it was, I was gone. Yeah, I hovered around a little bit because I wanted to capture it on the GoPro. I'd never seen one in nature before, so I just, I had to be there just for a moment to see it. But it was so cool to see that in, in nature, but we're super excited to do this as well. Right now, Carrie and Lindsay are over on the family beach, just getting in the water, trying to cool down, I think. So it is a warm day here. It is beautiful. There's clouds in the distance, but there's also a lot of blue sky. We're hoping and keeping fingers crossed for amazing weather all day long. So we are about to feed the stingers. I am so excited. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting it ready. Oh, can I see the fish? Oh, yeah, there's fish right there. He said the fish are not on the payroll, they're pirates. All right, let's go. Oh, that feels so good. Here comes the stingray. Shuffle. 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 Oh, look at, look at, look at, look. What's up, buddy? Lindsay would hate this. I know. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Feed areas. Fish jelly, shrimp, and squid. It's putting ham, place it on the target. When there is, come up and slowly remove your ham and she will eat it, okay? Wanna try first. You can pet them as they come up as well, alright? You don't have to be afraid. Bring it up here, you gotta put it on the Mickey. Oh, there's stingrays all over. Oh. They like you. It is so weird. Stingrays are just swimming right around our feet. Oh, that's a big one. What's up, Mr. Stingray? Oh! Coming up. Here okay, we go. Guys, Here we go. Down. Come on, girl. Place the food down. Hold. There we go. Good job, guys. The fish Maybe? keep on no. swimming in between my legs. It's freaky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep, there's one right behind you. Hey, little guy. Okay, guys. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Leah. How was that, Alyssa? That was awesome. Was it weird? Yeah. What was weirder, feeding the, the stingray or having him swim right by your feet? Swim right by my feet. Yeah? Yeah. That was incredible. Having the stingray swim right up to your legs and having fish swim all around you. Stingrays don't have any barbs, so they can't hurt you. That was so cool. Now we get to go snorkel with the stingrays. So excited. So we're switching over to the GoPro. Uh, can't wait to do this. You ready to go, Alyssa? Yeah. All right, let's do this. I know I probably look like a weirdo. I don't care. I want to go snorkel with some stingrays. Let's go. It's raining right now. We're at Castaway Key and it is raining. Dude, look at that. Mom went somewhere, I don't know where. Dad and Alyssa saw the excursion, I think. But I was just sitting here reading and I heard like water droplets. I'm glad I'm under an umbrella. So Lindsay and I ran over here while Chris and Alyssa went to the Stingray excursion. We were some of the first people out on the beach. There's no one here. We got in the water right away. It was beautiful and amazing. And I took a picture of us, but I didn't think about taking a picture of just what it looked like out here with no one on the beach. Which now that there's like hundreds of people here, I see that I should have taken the picture. I think a few thousand. Yeah, there's a lot of people. But anyway, it's just so beautiful here. We've been enjoying. We were in the water for a while and then we were sitting on our Lounge chairs reading. Chris and Alyssa just found us, and Alyssa told us, and she'll tell you in a second, about her um, stingray experience. I loved it. Yeah. I, I was doing it with Alyssa because I knew she really wanted to do it. Yeah. And I've petted stingrays before, I've never fed them. Yeah. And so feeding them was a, definitely an experience. They, they give you this like fish jelly uh -huh. and shrimp and squid, and they put it in your hand and you just are supposed to hold it and then when they swim up to your hand you just let it go right as they swim over you uh -huh. and you can pet them as they're oh, eating wow. it and it, it's definitely i don't think Lindsay would have liked it at all okay at yeah all. there's a couple really small fish in the water she wasn't a big fan of that so when we were just getting in the water they were the the stingrays were just swimming right up to us brushing us against our legs the fish were swimming in and out of our legs wow like they're not afraid of people in that in the stingray lagoon <laughs> <laughs> at all okay so if you are excited about being near a lot of fish and seeing a lot of fish and stingrays you should do that excursion yeah. if not then uh probably just stay over here and read the sea life here is so calm and it's amazing so me and dad just got done with the stingray excursion and it was really fun we got to see the stingrays feed the stingrays and touch the stingrays they they were pretty friendly <laughs> like when if you tried to go up and touch them they might swim away from you but they are pretty friendly. I definitely recommend if you like nature and stingrays um, 
to do this because it is really fun and a good experience. And I can't wait to go out into the snorkeling lagoon and just look and search and see. And I see people way far out there. Yeah, they're and way I don't, out there. I don't know how deep it is out there. I'm excited to get out there. I just hope it's not too crowded. The water is so clear. It's it is amazing. really nice. Yeah, and I brought my own snorkel equipment, so I'm excited to use my own snorkel equipment. So if you have nice snorkel equipment that you can bring, bring it if you can fit it in your luggage. The stuff they give you here is good, but the stuff you can bring from home is better. We can't wait to just get out in the water, relax, and eventually get some food. A little bit later on, Carrie and I are going to head over to Serenity Bay to enjoy the barbecue over there. Yeah, um, and, and Lindsay left for, they were doing like a teen thing at Vibe at the teen hideaway place, I think is what it's oh, called. Oh yeah, okay. Well, let's keep exploring and keep having fun. So Alyssa and I are out here. It's honestly like a scavenger hunt, like a snorkeling scavenger hunt. There's all these white and red buoys everywhere. We're going from buoy to buoy looking for different things uh, to just see what they are and also what kind of fish we can see and wildlife we can see under the water. And it's just so much fun. Uh, the water is so clear and it's so nice and warm. It's just so beautiful. Uh, so far, we're really loving our time at Castaway Key. Pretty soon, Carrie and I are gonna wanna head over to Serenity Bay to get some food. Alyssa can be out here all day and be happy. <laughs> On our way to Serenity Bay, the great thing about the shuttle, it comes with a free massage for your behind. Well, vlogging didn't happen as we thought it would here. Uh, I vlogged pretty much our whole Stingray experience and recorded a good amount of our snorkeling and then got out of the water. We were gonna head to the other side of the island at Serenity Bay because I've heard the barbecue there is the best. But the and barbecue here is also supposed to be really good. Yes. And I had no idea what time it was. I did not realize, and there probably was ways to find out, but we did not realize that it closed down at two o'clock. We didn't get on the island till like 10, 15. And so by the time we were done at the Stingray experience, and as by the time we were done snorkeling, the girls got some to eat at that Cookies barbecue, and we headed over to Stony Bay, found out it was closed, came back here to Cookies 2, that was closed, Cookies 1 was closed. We totally missed out on the barbecue. So the moral of the story is, find out what time the food place is closed and make sure to get it because- Plan your day around that. Yeah, just make sure that you know that it will close at some point. It's not like the ship where you can just get food whenever you want. One thing uh, that was open, there was fruit and soft serve. And of course the bars are always open. And the bar was open, so I got a drink and a bag of chips. Yeah. So I got all that and a bag of chips. I think it was good for us to just eat fruit for lunch today, even though we would have liked yeah. that barbecue. We've had a lot of food. I've heard so many good things about the barbecue. I, I would really want to try it. We didn't even have time to hit up the, uh, the water slide today either. Well, there's a lot to do here. Nice. And there's... I had a good time relaxing, floating in the water. It's so beautiful. Um, so, I mean, for me, I was kind of able to get over the not eating thing a little faster. I think Chris is still... Well, I'm, a, I'm a little stuck on it still. Yeah. But, but, I mean, at the same time, I had an amazing time with Alyssa. Yeah. Doing the Stingray experience. That was super fun. It was super fun snorkeling with her, too. Just didn't really get to hang out with Lindsay that much or Carrie that much. And so, it didn't go as I had planned but we still had a good time. 
It is so beautiful here. I honestly, I've heard some people say it's just a beach. Like, what's the big deal? And I, part of me just wanted to stay on the ship while it was not crowded. But I loved it here. Yeah. The sand is so soft and beautiful. The water is so clear. You feel so safe in the water snorkeling. It is a great place to take kids snorkeling. Yes. Yeah. So much fun. So just make sure you know what time the barbecue will end and know in advance some of the things that you want to do while you're here. Yeah. Lindsay and I were able to hang out a little bit, do a little shopping. That was kind of fun. We'll head back on the ship. This will do it for our time in Castaway. This trip, yeah. we'll be back. Someday. Someday. just got back on the ship. Alyssa's in the shower. I'm gonna take a dip in the adult quiet cove pool just to cool down. It's really hot outside. It was a fun day at Castaway, but we're so hungry, especially Carrie and I, since we didn't really even eat lunch on the island. We just ordered a giant order of room service for us and the girls, because they only had a little bit of food too. We're excited for food. I'm excited to cool down the pool for just a minute. And let me show you something else we got. So we got these luggage tags, one piece for each luggage that we brought on board with us. We're silver, Daisy, but we're not gonna use them. We're gonna get off super early because we we're wanting to get first in line for the rental car because we heard it can be a two hour wait even for the shuttle to get over to the rental car and we don't wanna wait like that. So we're gonna get up early, walk off, and hopefully not wait for a long time to get our rental car. Guess what we ordered for room service? Yeah, you tell them. We got like, Three steak sandwiches, um, one tomato sandwich, two chicken wings, um, one key lime pie, one cake of the day. Four, four Mickey, Mickey bars. Four Mickey bars. Four cookies? And cookies. Well, how we're going to eat it all. We may not eat it all. Probably not. But Better to have more than not enough. Yes, and we have late dining, so yeah, it makes total sense. We're not going to eat dinner for four hours. Okay, so. sure. If you guys keep telling yourselves that. I will. Thank you. What a cynic. Mm -hmm. Wonder where she gets that from. It must be you. The guy behind the camera. <laughs> I took a quick break, went up to Quiet Cove Pool, took a dip in the pool, hopped in the hot tub, or the Whirlpool, I think is what they call it, the one where you can like see through the glass bottom. It was really cool, and I was able to actually see the line of people that were still waiting to get back on the Fantasy. I'm glad we came back on when we did. There wasn't much of a wait. I think we might just kind of hang out here on our veranda or in our stateroom in the air conditioning. With the drapes pulled, open so we can enjoy it as we eat our room service really soon but it was really nice to get up to quiet cove and just kind of cool off oh so i was hot also we got carrie nice some iced coffees and got the girls the little caramel tartlet thing that you can get from quiet cove i want them to enjoy something uh before our room service came ah castaway you are beautiful and amazing i wish we could have done more with you today next time can't come soon enough i got my room service Tomato mozzarella sandwich. Oh boy. And then I have half of Lindsay's steak sandwich and I put some of the steak inside the tomato mozzarella sandwich. It's good. Mmm. I love fresh mozzarella so much. We also have cake of the day, which is, I forgot what he said, but it sounded really good. Lemon mousse. I'm gonna enjoy my sandwich and my food too. Yeah, I'm in the shade, yes. And I love our rose that Carrie got at Remy the other night in a Dasani water bottle. <laughs> hey Alyssa, how are the wings? They're good. Those look tasty. I can't wait to try a few. You have your own. I know. Not mine. I won't eat yours, don't worry. You better not. <laughs> She's protective of her wings. Bellies are full from our room service. Now is the sad, sad time of our cruise where we have to pack to go home. Carrie and I have our luggage out. We're going to start putting packing away stuff. We're actually not going to go to the show tonight. I think it's Believe. Um, we're not huge fans of the review shows. They're good. Alyssa likes them. The rest of us, we could go, but honestly, we still want to get a jump start and get packing now so that before dinner comes, we have time to just do whatever we want on the ship and relax and have a slow rest of the evening. We don't want to be, be in here at 11 o'clock packing up. Alyssa and I are at the store right now. She just finished her charm bracelet and she'll tell you all about that in the haul video. Yes, I will. <laughs> Alyssa just saw this statue next to the atrium statue statue of Minnie. This, this one looks much more. That one's much better. Very nice. This one. It looks like Minnie's eating Mickey's cheek. The only thing I can think of is an 80s song called Man Eater. <laughs> she is legit about to chew on Mich Mickey's cheek. That does not look like a kiss. And Mickey looks like he's like all all about that. That's 
strange, but I... You do you. You do you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, this is these are all the mugs they have on the Fantasy this week. And they don't have the blue mug that I really wanted. I was hoping maybe they'd get it in today since we stopped at Castaway. But we'll just have to come back in the Fantasy again and maybe they'll have it then. on our drawings that are going to go through the Mickey magic machine and come to life in an animated show for us. Mine is really horrible. He's got a Mickey ice cream bar. He's got a Mickey sunset on his shirt, although I'm not sure if that's what it looks like. You can be the judge of that. Apparently he's got clogs on. And my hand had an accident at the factory, I think. Mine, I think, is wearing a turtleneck and sleeves and gloves and white boots. <laughs> that was not on purpose, but we're just gonna go with it. And also, she has an exceedingly long neck. Really long. Yeah, she's really sort of long a turtleneck. Half giraffe. Mine's a little bit chaotic. My hair's kind of cut in edges for some reason, and then. Apparently I don't have, I'm gonna have a bald spot right here. And then my nose also only has one nostril and my eyes twitching right here. <laughs> um. And you got dragon scale Mickey shirt? Not dragon scales, it's just a type of art. And then I have a, like a Mickey right here. You can tell that's Mickey? Yeah, I can see the Mickey. Oh, okay. And then my hands, they're not too bad. They're, they're just than, little tiny. They're better than dad's, but. This is my drawing. I made a girl with red hair, reddish pink hair, green eyes, some Mickey ears, bracelet, and Incredibles logo shirt, and pants, of course, because you always need pants. Wait, oh. So it's our last night here on the Fantasy. You're animators, which I think is a great last dinner. We got a little extra stuff tonight. We got some wine to go with our beef Wellington, which is on the last night's menu. Super excited about that. And I went a little bit extra tonight. I got the Princess Delight. Daddy! I'm feeling a little fancy. Honestly, it looked really good. It was like a frozen blend of like pog juice, Raspberry puree, mango puree. Look at this beautiful picture. It just sounded really good. And then I saw the name of it. I'm like, oh, of course. I'm feeling fancy. So I gave everyone a taste of my Princess Delight. <laughs> it's really good. It's the non-alcoholic drink of the day. And I looked at it and this looked a lot better than the regular, the, the alcoholic drink of the day option. So I just went with it. Alyssa and Carrie both tried it. They both thought it was amazing. I tried it. You don't like mango though. No, I don't. No. I'm really weird. I have the tomato caprese, which is one of my favorite things because I love fresh mozzarella. I had fresh mozzarella earlier on my sandwich too, so this is my day of mozzarella. Alyssa has the tuna sashimi crusted with sesame seeds. So one thing about animators, in the wonder, it starts off everything's black and white. And then by the end of the night, everything starts changing in the color, including the waiter's shirts. They start off black and white, and the end of the night, they have all these colors in them. But they do lots of really different neat things in here, so it's a really fun restaurant to be at. Alyssa, I know you're really busy and being entertained by the show, but what do you think of your tuna sashimi? Oh, uh, it's pretty good. Do you have anything else to say about it? Nope. All right, we'll go to Dad for more details. It's pretty good. That, that, I said more details. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. Okay, well, that's helpful. I have 
have the porcini sachets, which look a lot like the black truffle pasta sachets. They're equally as delicious. This time it's hot though. My first night that we got them, they were not at all hot. And this one is nice and hot and delicious, so I'm happy. Seems like the service tonight's been a lot faster. I think that it's the kitchen and the bar that's making things faster, because that's what he said when he brought it out. I said, wow, that's fast. He says, oh, they are, they're being fast tonight. So I got the white cheddar and broccolini soup with fresh baguette croutons. I didn't really say anything that I liked, but this sounded interesting, so I was going to try it. Yum. Really? No. I think mom would like it. Try it. It's... You're not a big ch melted cheese person. No, I'm not. I am impressed that you went out of your comfort zone to try something you're not. It's good. It's good cream of broccoli soup, basically. Carrie and I had a lobster bisque as part of our dinner at Remy the other night. That was amazing. And that's what lobster bisque should taste like. This, it's not bad, but it tastes like creamy tomato soup with lobster in it. It doesn't Remy, taste Remy like- Remy has ruined us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's an understatement. As it should, I think. Lobster bisque should be a lot more like cream, and I don't see a lot of cream in this or even taste it. So it's not bad. If you like a tomatoey soup and you like the idea of adding lobster to it, get this, it's, it's good. It's just not what I'm used to for lobster bisque. Well, I was about to say that I was so excited about the Beef Wellington because my friend Sherry, who's the one who um, first told us about Disney cruising, she's a friend from home, and she, she, one time we were hanging out and she just told me how much she loves Disney cruising, and there's a few reasons. And one of them was when she remembers the Beef Wellington, she wants to cry for how much she loves that flavor. So I was about to tell you all that. And then our server came over and said there was a problem with the beef Wellington tonight, and it's it's overcooked. That's all. They're all medium. They're all, they're all cooked medium well. They're all medium well. So it's not ready yet. Um, so that's a bummer. And I wanted to start with what I was going to say anyway because I was so excited about it. And we didn't get it on the last cruise because they didn't have it. It's a seven night cruise thing, but. Hopefully we'll still have some of that delicious flavor and I guess we'll have to go on another, another seven night cruise to try it again. We can throw some steak sauce on and make it right. Maybe there can be some horseradish, that'll be good. Now that's what I call a colorful action. <laughs> The Beef Wellington came. Well, first of all, we had the animation show, which was so fun. And now our Beef Wellington is here, so it is the moment of truth. It's not that bad. I would say it's medium. I would not say medium well. It's probably more medium. I like it. Good. I'm not going to cry, though. The show was really good. I saw my little person um two times but it was really fun you got to see all the an animations dancing they were really good i think it was really cool how they um made them like dance along like with the genie and like with the all the other um characters when they were dancing because like when they were just doing like you know figure skating and all that i was like oh that's cool i guess but then they started like dancing along with the other characters and making them do all these really cool dance moves. That was really cool. It was really fun. Something I just saw it just kind of typifies the difference of cruising right now versus cruising last October. It's been almost nightly where we see or hear of someone having some kind of celebration, a birthday or something like that. A bunch of servers converge on a table and they start cheering and then they start singing and everyone around them starts clapping along uh, with the birthday song they sing and it's just really fun much more celebratory much more energy than it was last uh, october and that's what i'm excited to see with the cruises being more full to capacity not full honestly if it was full i think i feel like it would be too many people <laughs> So we'll see if we ever experience that. It's been a pretty decent week 
where it hasn't felt like it's too many people, but it's a lot more full than we've had and than we had on our last cruise. One of our servers gave us the same crayon riddle that he gave our girls when we were at Remy and they were eating on their own. He needs to go another direction. Oh, another direction. Yeah. All right, you can show us. Go ahead. No, no, no. Oh. oh my gosh, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> to the left side now. Oh, oh man, easy and not easy. Our girls will feel good that we didn't figure it out. They struggled yesterday as well, so yep. they cannot say nothing. They cannot joke, they struggled as well. Thank you, Sandro. Thank you so much. I hope you had a lovely time. Well, we just finished our dinner animators and said goodbye to our server team. Took a picture with them. And yeah, they were awesome. They were really great. We're so glad we ended up with them. They worked their behinds off all week. Dessert was okay. The was chocolate fun. decadence was probably my favorite. The ice cream sundae was really good too. We didn't review those, but we have a lot to do. We have to finish packing. I need to go up to the photo area to select a few pictures from the week that we took on, that we took on the ship. Yeah. Lindsay's in vibe. Alyssa's in edge. They're going to say goodbye to their counselors and the friends they made this week. She's going to finish packing. I'm going to check the pictures. So let's go do our thing and then we'll close it out later. All right. Yeah, we'll close it out. Hopefully it won't just be me. I well, can't guarantee anything, so I'll say bye right now just in case. <laughs> all right. We got some artists getting ready to play there and I am going to walk up the giant staircase because it's actually open and it's supposed to resemble the neck of a peacock. That's what I learned on the Art of the Theme show tour the other day. That's the peacock tail feather design on the lower carpet in the third deck. This is supposed to be the neck of the peacock and then it ends up right here. Hard to see from this perspective. Maybe you can see it better on the fifth deck of the atrium. But for now, you guys know a little bit more about the design of the fantasy. If you're still watching this, maybe that's interesting to you. And here is our room and you can see all the decorations are gone. Sadness. All right, part of the problem tonight was we're packing and there's a ton of stuff on our bed. Nanita, our room attendant, has been so great. She set up the girls' beds and we felt so bad going to dinner because it was a little bit of a mess, but she... <laughs> Looks like it's a snake or something. Reading the review that, they, that Disney wants us to fill out that we are happy to do to leave comments about what we loved about this cruise and maybe what are some things that could be improved. I'm gonna leave it up for Carrie to see. Kind of a fun way <laughs> to remind us to fill that out. Well, we are pretty much packed up. It's midnight. <laughs> so it's actually disembarkation day. Since our day is ending at 12.05 a.m., we're going to go to bed, wake up, share with you a little bit of a surprise we have for you. Good night. We'll see you in just a few seconds. Good morning, as the sun's peeking through the clouds, it just rose up about maybe 15 minutes ago. We're back at Port Canaveral, and you can see Disney's terminal behind me. Say hello to the Wish. It's super fun just to see it here, parked at the port. We're gonna get some breakfast really soon, then get off the ship. We're gonna plan to go to Disney Springs uh, this uh, morning after we get our rental car. So we don't really wanna vlog much more, we just wanna take it easy the rest of the day today before we fly home. But wanted to share this with you guys just for a few minutes. Wondering if any of you guys have anything booked on The Wish this year. We'd love to follow you guys and your adventure if you are going on The Wish. Here's Carrie, just to see it for the first time. She's coming up from the stateroom. Look at, wow. look at the awesome It's so cool to just walk up here and see it. It's amazing. The ship is brand new. It looks so pretty. All right. You guys ready to get some food before we get off the ship? After leaving the cruise terminal, we went to rent a car. We ended up getting a minivan to make sure that we had enough space for all of our luggage, because we have a lot. And then we ended up going to Disney Springs to get brunch at Art Smith's Homecoming. Always wanted to try it there. It was really, really good. We sampled a lot of stuff from the appetizers. I think Alyssa got 
Gator Bites, which we all really like. She loved those. Uh, we got some donuts and biscuits. The best thing was the biscuits. So if you go there, get those. After brunch, it was so hot in Disney Springs. So we ended up driving to the Polynesian Resort, hoping we could go there. But since we couldn't get a reservation there, they pretty much said, nope, can't come here. We ended up getting a spot at Coronado Springs Resort. We ended up coming here and just relaxing here at Coronado Springs at the Grand Destino Tower. And it was so nice just to plug in our devices and just kind of check in on what we missed out of uh, what's been going on in the world the last week. So uh, that was nice just to kind of unwind. Now we're about to head to the airport to go home, but we wanted to wrap up our vlog uh, and just kind of share some of our favorite moments of our week with you guys. So wrapping up our last day vlog after we've already gotten off the ship. We got off the Fantasy this morning. We were able to see the Disney Wish right before we got off board. And that was so cool to be able to see her at her new home port. And it was really fun. We wanted to wrap it up by just having us share really kind of like the favorite part of our week on the Fantasy. Each day was packed with so many things. It was like packed with fun and activity and also packed with relaxation. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of my favorite part is just that like, Every day had so many fun things and also had a great time to relax. So much great food, time together, time separately. It's really hard for me to pick a specific thing because um, there's probably several and at least one from each day. Lindsay and Alyssa singing karaoke together was one of my favorite things. That was super fun. That was really fun for me um, and hopefully for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> And hopefully for them. Yeah. I loved our room with the veranda and being yeah. able to order room service. I know that sounds simple. I didn't think that would be something that I cared about so much, but that was just so nice, especially when we came back from doing something that was fun and tiring. There was for sure that, those opportunities where we each had our times to do stuff. And then like when you and I were able to do things together, what was yeah. Remy or Palo Brunch or being able to enjoy Sense of Spa and the Couple's Choice uh, together. Like that was so relaxing mm -hmm. and refreshing, especially at the beginning of our cruise. Yeah, and I it, loved when we went up to the top to take pictures too. Yeah. I was really tired, but then just going up there and like see, seeing the empty ship, that was really fun to do. It was really cool doing things each with the girls. Like for me, I was able to do zip lining with Lindsay at Tortola. And doing the Stingray adventure on Castaway with Alyssa was really, really fun to do that with her too. So having those opportunities too is really cool. Yeah. It's easy to say all of it, but those specific things stood out to me the most. So um, me and Alyssa are now gonna share with you our favorite parts of the Disney Cruise. Alyssa, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was probably the Stingray excursion. I really liked being able to touch the Stingrays and it was nice to know that they didn't have the barb on them so they wouldn't sting us, and it was fun, yeah. You That's touched it. them? Yeah, of course I did. Why wouldn't I? Because they're stingrays. With no stinger. Okay, so my favorite part of the cruise is probably either making friends at Vibe and hanging out with them and being able to be kind of like independent. I also really like relaxing in the stateroom, but just being able to hang out in there, like with the doors open and hearing like the ocean outside, and ordering room service with those amazing steak sandwiches was also really fun and I really like that. Thank you guys so much for joining us uh, on our Disney Fantasy Cruise. We are so fortunate to be able to do this together and we're it's been really fun kind of capturing all our memories in, in the vlog and, and sharing some of it with you guys. We love it if you can hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and smash that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos that we share. From Disney World at the Grand Testino Tower, we're gonna say goodbye, and we hope you guys have an amazing week. Take care, and we'll see you guys really soon. Bye. Bye.